Hello, Mr. Miss America and all the ships at sea. It's your man, Tim Roberts, 820. The ugliest man in social media. All right, so this video is going to be about um, the moronic Don Lemon. Another one about him. He's just a gift that keeps right on giving. Um, I had caught part of his opening monologue of his program that, that airs on uh, the CNN network on satellite radio. Um, and it was as he, uh, Chris Cuomo, Chris Fredo Cuomo was ending his program, going into Don Lemon's program, and they're schmoozing each other, you know, and, oh, you're great, no, you're great, you know, whatever. And Don Lemon is talking about the coronavirus. Now, I think it was, uh, oh, I forget what senator or congressman it was that says America's over coronavirus. We are in terms of we're tired of the reporting on it, the pushing of this vaccine and face masks. When these people don't, who are pushing it, don't do the stuff themselves. And last year, last year, um, Kamala Harris said, I don't trust the Trump vaccine because... It was Trump, you know, who had Operation uh, Warp Speed to get, the, to get to get the ventilators made, to get masks made, to get this uh, the vaccine produced very quickly. He had it done in what six to eight months. It was ready to go. That never happens. That never happens that fast. Vaccines usually take twenty years, twenty years to come to fruition. They take decades, decades. But now they're pushing it. Why are they pushing it? It's money. It's all about money, folks. Trust me. It's all about money. So, but Don Lemon doesn't, you know, bring up the fact that uh, Andrew Fredo Cuomo, the former governor of New York State, the absentee landlord, this guy sent so sick COVID patients into nursing homes where 15,000 people got infected and died. Now, in Florida... What did they do in Florida? When that first happened, they went at, they, they went and protected the most vulnerable people. People in nursing homes, assisted living places. They got them protected first. That was their first line of defense. Because they figured it was going to affect old people. It wasn't really affecting younger people. Although that's changing now, I think, they say. Um, but at first, it was older people that were getting sick and dying. And people who are overweight. Because I know somebody who works in a very large hospital. And this person, I'm not going to say their name or who they are, this person was dealing with COVID patients where they put the trachea, do the tracheotomy, put the, the, the vent the thing right in their throats. And this person said every person that they treated was overweight. Every single one. So obviously weight plays an issue in, in COVID-19, which is something we're not hearing anything about. No one's saying anything about that, but as, because as Americans, we have all, we have all, you know, we're all this accepting the fact that we're going to be fatter and heavier and get, just get bigger and bigger sizes, which means more stress on our, 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 our raw materials and more stress in the environment because you got to produce more and more materials to make more and more bigger, bigger clothes for people. No one ever talks about that. I mean, back in the 1800s, people were very thin. They were not big, fat people like, like you know, like I am. I'm 270 70 pounds. I'm, a, I'm massive. But to see a 270-pound person in the 1800s was unheard of. You hardly ever saw that. You hardly ever saw someone who was obese. If you did, you're like, whoa, look at that. I, I'll give you a perfect example. I went down the shore last summer, and I... I saw maybe five to 10 women and five to 10 men who were in decent shape. And I'm talking 18, 18 plus. I'm not talking kids. Kids are different. 18 plus, there were five to 10 men who were in shape, five to 10 women who were in shape, decent shape. Um, less than five who had great bodies, you know, picture a magazine cover type body. Everyone was fat and overweight. Everyone, myself included. When I was a kid going to the shore, 45, 50 years ago, if you saw somebody that was overweight, you pointed and said, wow, look at that guy. Wow, look at that woman. You know, you, that was, that was shocking. You didn't see that about 50 years, 45, 50 years ago. You never saw people like that. 
even back then, you, it was you, you didn't really see it. It didn't start till probably maybe late eighties, early nineties, maybe late nineties, or people and and we're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and that causes more physical problems. Your body is less able to fight off diseases and illnesses when you have all this fat, plus diseases and things like that get stored in your fat. Okay. And, you know, it, it's hard to, to fight things off when you're heavy like that. And I remember when I was overweight, I was 311 pounds. I, and I would have to have two pairs of socks on, a pair of boots, two pairs of pants, two shirts, a heavy jacket, gloves, scarf, and a hat. And I was still cold. I was still cold. When I lost weight, I could go outside when it's, I can go outside it's 30 degrees outside with a t-shirt on. That's because your body... When you're fat, your circulation does not work as well. And your circulation is what heats your body, which keeps you warm. All right. But getting off the subject, we're getting off the, we're getting off the Don Lemon train. Anyway, Don Lemon is just spouting all this nonsense. He's point, he's just cherry picking things that, that make, you know, anti vaccine people look, look ridiculous and scary and, and bad. But he's not bringing out any points to support people who don't want to get a vaccine. Maybe some people just don't want to get one. Maybe they're tired of getting all these vaccines that may or may not work, and then you, you find out, you know, the chickenpox vaccine can cause shingles down the road. You know, it's like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> Why did I get that in the first place? But, I, you know, he's not talking about, you know, herd immunity. He's not talking about people developing a natural uh, immunity to, to this to, to coronavirus. It's, you know, for themselves. And he, he's just one of he's just another Chris Fredo Cuomo wannabe, you know, on a failing news network that that's just per, per, perpetuating all these lies and these myths. And it's shocking to me that that people allow the, this nonsense to keep going on and on and on. It really is. Uh, why why we would allow this? I don't know, but we do. And. He's just another one of another one of these these lying Marxist Democrats, okay? And they for, for some reason they got it in their head. You got to have this vaccine, you got to have it, you got to have it. But last year they were saying, oh, "I don't trust that vaccine. I don't trust that vaccine. That's a Trump vaccine." Now they changed their tune. Why? Why did they change their tune? Ask yourself their question. Why are they changing their tune now? So. Don't trust Don Lemon to give you any information. He's not going to tell you the truth. He's a liar. Um, don't trust CNN at all. At all. They're all liars on that station. MSNBC as well. All liars. All right, that's all I got for today, guys. I'm out.